Well, good morning. Today is Monday. I'm trying to figure out how to get, keep this from bouncing so much. Today is Monday, September 11th. Hmm, didn't realize that until I just said it. But um, I'm on my way to Birdie's house because we're starting our water aerobics again. And I'm running late. <laughs> I set my alarm. I was up in plenty of time. I started playing games on my phone, looking at videos. And, uh, oh, you know what? I forgot to put my seatbelt on. I never forget to put my seatbelt on, but I did today. I don't know why. Um, I, uh, what was I going to say? I, I wish I could figure out a way that, that doesn't bounce so much, but I guess I just don't know how to mount on a iPod or iPad or, you know, whatever. You know what I mean. But anyway, um. Today is Monday, September 11th. It's beautiful out. It's, it's a little chilly. It's uh, 58. It's supposed to go up to 70. So that's going to be good. And I slept really, really good. I had some really weird dreams. I dreamt that I was sunbathing next to Billy Gardalia, who was Mike from Mike and Molly. Don't know, I don't know why. Um, I also met a lone shark. But he said he wasn't a bad loan shark. And then uh, my girlfriend, Kathy, was holding up some cards to show me she was playing cards and she had a winning hand. I should figure out what this meant. It did mean something. And then I met a couple people. I was asking, was your show canceled? I just, it was really, it was really strange, I will admit. Um, I was supposed to, not supposed to, but everybody seems to be doing, is setting fall goals because our meeting on Saturday talked about fall goals. And I did set up a couple goals that I want to reach. Um, my first goal is I'd like to lose 10 pounds by Thanksgiving, which would uh, put me into the 40s. So that's uh, that's quite a goal for me. <laughs> I just I, I can't I can't even remember the last time I was in the 40s. And then um, my other goal would be to lose 15 pounds by New Year's Eve. So then that would put me at, uh, well, no, actually, I want to lose more than that because I've gained some weight. I'd like to lose 18 pounds because then that would put me at a 60-pound loss for the year, which would be impressive for me. I, I would really like that. If I don't hit it, I don't hit it. I want to at least hit the 10 pounds for Thanksgiving, so that is my goal. Uh, my second goal is to continue on with my walking, uh, do my water aerobics on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then walk Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And hopefully... Um, do some kind of exercise on the weekend. I, I am retired, but I still have the mindset that the weekend is my free time, <laughs> and I have to get I've been retired since 2013, so it's not like I haven't had a little bit of practice knowing that the weekends are the same, whether it's Monday or Saturday, the days are the same, and that would be my second goal. My third goal, which is going to be very hard, I should have made it my first goal, but it's my third goal, and it's going to be very hard for me. Um, not so much today because I still have fruit left, but I have to change up my way of eating. I watch all your videos. Weight Watchers with Carrie uh, always has something different. Um, I'll try to remember to put her link down below. Um, she's lost a lot of weight. I think she's pretty close to her 100 pounds too. And um, she always has something different. She really does. And then who wants a healthy girl? She always has a lot of different things. Um, of course, Kim from Fit and Fabulous Mama, she always, I hope I should come to a complete stop, just in case. Um, she always has good stuff, too. And, uh, well, Gina Pearson, she, you know, she, I mean, everybody out there, they don't eat the same thing every day, day in and day out, like I do. I really am not bored with it, but I'm kind of wondering if my body is bored with it, and it's kind of not helping me lose weight like I should, and making me have cravings. Well, not that it's made, well, I don't know cravings because I have a lot of cravings lately and uh, I am not eating right so I probably have the same breakfast this morning I'll tell you because I got the berries and uh, I did take some chicken out but I think I might do something different with the chicken rather than just bake it I haven't decided what I'm going to do but I don't know and then I'm going to I'm going to be on a collab with the Fit and Fabulous Mama on the 20th and she's supposed to do something fall oriented I love, which I've had at Panera, 
which is not going to taste the same as Panera. I know that. But they have, like in the fall, a really good butternut squash soup. Because I love butternut squash. And I think that's a taste that's kind of, uh, you have to acquire. But I, I'm going to try to make that. And that's going to be part of my collab. collab. I'm going to try to do the butternut squash soup. It won't taste, I mean, because, you know, obviously I'm not going to use all the same rich ingredients that they use at, at Panera. But uh, I think it'll be pretty good. So we'll see. The most I can tell you is be honest and tell you I didn't really like it after I made it. But I love her chili, but I can't do the chili because she's already done the chili. But I, speaking of the chili, I need to do some more because um, I think that uh, I've only got one more bowl left in the freezer. So I'm going to have to be doing that pretty soon, too. So, and uh, I think that's three goals. I think that's pretty good. I can't think of anything else I need to do, you know, other than always, you know, better myself each day. Be a little more deep in prayer and thought. But, uh, and my prayers are going out to everybody in Florida and Texas from the hurricanes. And Puerto Rico, oh my, I got, I have a lot of subscribers from Puerto Rico and, and they really hit you hard too, so, um, all my subscribers, anybody that was in the path of the hurricane, you are in my prayers. Well, I'm almost at Bernie's house now, so I'm going to close this out right now. Of course, we'll have to have Bernie on the video, you know that, that's just a gimme. So, um, okay, let's go, I gotta come to another complete stop. Look who's here! Hello, my friends. Hello. We're back, and we're back to exercising. The deadly duo. Well, I exercised through the summer. I did a little, not much. I walked just a, a lot. So, but so Bertie's here. Yes, I am, yep. and we're on our way to our swim class. Okay, say goodbye. Bye. Okay, let's eat breakfast. Um, Got to finish my berries off. I got today and tomorrow, and then my berries are gone. So start my day with a prayer. My quote is to set a realistic goal. 35 points, two for my egg, three for my toast, and zero for the jam, the banana, the grapefruit, the berries, and the tea and the water. Five point breakfast, 30 points left for the day. Okay, I told you I'm going to start eating healthier and changing up my eating, so we're going to start it at dinner time. I thawed out a piece of chicken, a boneless chicken breast, and I do have the zesty Italian. I'm going to uh, marinate, marinate that in two tablespoons of the zesty Italian, which is two points. Um, i got to figure out how much the chicken is, but I'll let you know. Um, I bought the, sand, the wrap. I'm going to have a sandwich tomorrow. Instead of uh, my berries for breakfast, I'm going to have a sandwich. Um, I bought some boar's head honey smoked turkey breast. I bought some spinach and parmesan dip. Uh, I wanted a zucchini. They didn't have any zucchini, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do a, like I said, a stir fry. It said to use this as a pasta. We'll try it. Um, I got some grape tomatoes and some feta cheese, uh, mushrooms, uh, purple onion. I wanted a red pepper, but they didn't have any. They had the green and the orange. And I got some olive oil. Am I supposed to cook in regular olive oil or extra virgin olive oil? I never know. Let me know. And I think I'm going to make a pasta salad. That's six points for um, for 50, 56 grams, I think. that's. I don't know how much that's going to be. And some bananas. So we'll see. I'll show you my dinner when it's done. It's uh, It'll be a first. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. That looks like a lot of food. Um, so I don't know how much I'm going to actually eat. I have left it in the pan. I'm going to put some on my plate. And then uh, that's just three quarters of a cup of pasta salad. And I think I'm only going to eat half of that and eat the other half for my lunch tomorrow. So I think maybe I'll be able to do this. This is my own recipe. Hopefully it'll turn out. We'll see. The taste will be the choice. It will make the difference. I forgot to put my cheese on there for breakfast. So it was four points. So I had to take four points away from my lunch or my dinner. So the prep for the chicken is I use two tablespoons of Italian dressing um, to marinate the chicken. And I used one tablespoon of olive oil in the pan that I cooked it in. So that was six points. And then I used three quarters of a cup of dry pasta, which was six points. Um, for the dressing, I used two tablespoons of Italian dressing, which was two points. Uh, in my chicken, I have, and also in my salad, I have uh, tomato, zucchini, the peppers, the mushrooms. I have... Um, an onion in my chicken 
And then I have three points for my quarter cup of crumpled feta that I put in the salad. And four points for eight ounces of raw chicken. It was just easier to uh, figure it out before I cooked it. And zero for my tea and water. So um, I don't know how much of this I'll eat. And I know I'll definitely only eat half of the salad. So you'll see that for my lunch tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to end the video now. Um, get rid of my hair, my hair nets there. Um, I... Uh, I had a good day. I'm thanking everybody once again for all the birthday wishes. My family, they said, isn't your birthday done yet? <laughs> so um, I, uh, I, just, I just love the fact that uh, I love doing YouTube. It's, uh, my Denise has been trying for years and years to get me to get a hobby. And uh, for my new subscribers, uh, a lot of times you'll see some videos in here with uh, somebody you're probably wondering who it is. That was Denise. Denise is the one that started the channel. Denise started it way back in uh, 2015, and I just kind of horned in, and then I just took over. She lost interest in doing it. She got busy with her life. Um, not to say that I'm not busy with my life, but I love doing this. It, it keeps me in check. I know for a fact that I've been on a very big roller coaster going up and down and sideways and everything on my diet. No, not my diet, my lifestyle. But uh, this is the farthest I've come in years as far as losing weight. I've weighed close to 300 pounds for the last 20 25 years easily and it wasn't do the, it wasn't until I started doing this channel that I finally got my button gear and I'm losing weight and even though I have a, the mentality of going up and down which is not good I I know that I'm not going to let myself get back to where I was and so I put myself in check a lot quicker than I ever did before and the, and that's the that's the secret to the whole the whole deal is don't beat yourself up. I mean, you're, everybody's going to go, well, not everybody. I'm always going to go off track. I'm always going to have a problem um, staying on board. I think I have a little bit of ADD. I really do. But I just I just know where my goal is. I know where my ultimate goal is. And, and I know that that uh, I'm going to hit it. it it's going to take me longer than if I would have done it when I was 20 but or 30 or 40 even. But I'm going to do it. I don't have a doubt that I'm going to do it. It's going to be a slow process. But I think that in the long run, it's uh, helping me to learn where I've made my mistakes and to make me realize that, you know, everybody slips up and you don't have to go crazy. I went crazy last week for my birthday week. And I really thought that, and I told you I was going to wait till today to get back on track. And I... Um, I didn't have any problems with it today. I really thought I would have. Yesterday I was having some issues. I had Outback for dinner, and then I had pretzels and candy for dinner. For, no, I had Outback for lunch, and then pretzels and candy for dinner, which is not good. But I, um, I, I woke up this morning and with a determination, I was going to my water aerobics. I knew that I was going to go pick up Birdie. Well, Birdie was going to drive, and I was going to go to Birdie's house, and I knew that I was going to get it accomplished. Uh, I also knew that I was going to try to stir up my eating. Um, not to brag, but my dinner was really good. It really was. And it's, I was kind of leery. I wanted to buy zucchini, but they didn't have any. They only had the shredded zucchini, which I showed you. And I wasn't sure that I would like it. And oh my gosh, I loved it. It was delicious. It just, it just everything all blended together really well. And uh, I only ate half of the pasta, so I'll have the other half tomorrow. And it was just... It was just a good day all the way around. I'm going to try to change up my eating a little bit to see if that will make a difference. I, I incorporated a lot of vegetables today, which I normally don't eat that many vegetables. I love vegetables. I don't know why I don't incorporate it, but um, that's what I'm going to do. And just st stay on this ride because it's a good ride. I hope to let you enjoy the ride with me. And, uh, you know, I'm willing to pick up hitchhikers. Jump on board. Come on. I don't care. Let's let's get this done. And uh, let's support each other because we can do this together. I know we can. I don't have a doubt. And once again, thank you for everything that you do for me. And thanks for putting up with me because, you know, sometimes I've been told that you have to take me in small doses. <laughs> and I take no offense at that. None at all. So I just, um, it's just who I am. My whole family is kind of similar to me. It's just the way we were brought up and I just have my beliefs and I'm strong in them and now I'm babbling and so I'm going to go. So like this video, subscribe, comment, and share and I will see you guys in the morning.